Note from concern the neighbor. Dear Bolton family, happy Halloween. And yet they have Christmas lights out. This is just a friendly reminder that the Christmas holiday season is not arriving for several weeks. Maybe a festive pumpkin on your doorstep would be more appropriate. Enjoy your weekend, a concerned neighbor. That is interesting. And guess what? I agree with the concerned neighbor. No need for Christmas lights when Halloween has not even happened yet. Welcome on back, friends. And yes, let me know. What are your thoughts on decorations? Holiday decorations. I am not a fan of seeing Christmas before Halloween. And we know the bombs dropped before, like a week before Halloween. I think it was October 22nd, 23rd. So it was about a week before Halloween. Way too early. Way too early. Oh, let's get over that. Uh-oh. Yeah, let me know your thoughts. Just never been a fan of the 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 su the early early decorations. It's funny. Used to have, have a coworker who loves decorations, and uh, she would go nuts with that and the Christmas music every single year. Which is cool. That's all right. I, I'm not a fan of it, but I, I'm I don't I don't begrudge others who do. But we did have a running joke where I, <laughs> every time she would start doing that stuff early, I'd call it Code 20, uh, Code 25. It's Code 25 for Christmas decorations being put out too early. Might be able to use that food. Obviously, Code 25 being December 25th. <laughs> Funny. We still have that joke every once in a while. It's been a while though, but we still throw that out there. All right, so again, we are heading towards Fort Atlas. We are going to do that uh, that fraternity mission in a uh, in a YouTube stream coming up soon. Coming up soon. I want to start streaming. Probably at least, you know, once a week, thinking about it. But I think it's a good way to do some dailies and to do some of those miscellaneous missions. I think it'd be kind of fun to do that. All right. Continue. All right. We are thirsty. Yes, we are. We are very thirsty. All right. Uh, aid. We could use a little bit of food also. So let's go ahead and take care of this. Um, you can help me that not cooked. That's not cooked. That obviously is not cooked. All right. looks like we're going with, uh, some pre-made food here. Oh, we could do the dog food. We're running low on that though. All right. I think that's going to hold us off for a little bit. All right, so South Fort Atlas, I know I saw, I thought I saw Top of the World up around here. Ooh, don't, don't get rad staggy with me. Don't do it. Don't do it. Can we see what was back there? I see anything. That looks like that might be a... That could be a vehicle. Ooh, what do we got here? Oh, I think we've been here. You oh. following me, pal? Nope. I need to set up my radio someplace where I can talk freely, openly. All I want to do is get out of this place, get my radio set up somewhere, and talk about the world, how it is now. Do you get me? 
Oh, look at our options here. So you act like a caged animal. Why don't you set up your radio at my place? Oh, do we want to do that? Good luck with the... Uh, did, did we talk to this guy? Look at level 50. I've been around, kid. I've seen things. I think the Mothman steals our dreams. <laughs> uh, Beg's great novel creator isn't for everyone. Um, I don't. Do we want to bring in raiders to our camp? I don't think we want to do that. Let's say you act like a caged animal. I feel like a caged animal, man. I need to get out of this place. I need, I need the open air. You get me? Look, I got this dream. It eats me up inside. I've been traveling with this crowd for a while, and we'll... I need to get away. You feel me? The... Well, uh, don't get me wrong. I, I still want to stop by and hang out with them, see the sights, but I need quiet, calm. I need to hear the world. I got a radio. I know some people. Got a buddy here in Crater, a hunter pal out in Foundation. Know some people all over. I know people, man. So that's interesting. Uh oh, you can stay at my place for 50 caps a day. Oh, do we want to... That's interesting. Let's give this a try and see what happens. Oh, uh, jeez. Dang it. I don't have that much. But, hey, tell you what... I know people who know things. I, I can, I can tell you where to find valuables, find missing people, or maybe kill things. Those things have bounties sometimes. I can definitely find you at least something every day, something worth your time. Uh, is that, is that okay? Please say yes. You know, I am kind of believing him. He wants to get out, and it sounds like he's just going to give us more dailies. Is that what this is about? Give me your radio, say your buys, and meet me at my camp. Nope, not a chance. Bye, weirdo. Let's give him a chance. Yes! My life is really turning around. Everybody on the radio is going to be so impressed. Jeez! Make some noise when you walk, will you? Can't wait to tell the rest of the gang. I didn't move to... Oh, tell the rest of the gang. That's a little worrisome. But let's use your... Uh, cooking station all right I think we met that guy before and I think I was like whatever dude I believe that was the case anything stick out in here Nothing huge. All right, let's continue. All right, so I guess we'll see what happens when we get back to our camp the next time. I would have, I, <laughs> I would have liked the 50 caps though. Now what's going on here? Are you a settler? No, you're another Raider Punk. Oh, whoa. You're named. Always broken. Always broken. All right, let's talk to Felton. Hello there. I'm Felton Reed, newly initiated in the Brotherhood of Steel. I saw what they did with the old observatory and figured I had to be a part of it. I'm working towards becoming a scribe. It's a commitment to finding and documenting technology. I've collected a few pieces, but uh, I'm unsure about any of them. I, I need to present something impressive to my brethren to prove myself. Scribe Valdis taught us that exceptional technology can often be found in objects with military or scientific applications. Do any of these pieces gathered at my camp seem like they'd impress my superiors? I'll have a look around. I don't think I can help now. Actually, I might have something already. What do we have? Let's take a look. Let's see what this is. Oh, 
Already? May I take a look? Circuitry. It's just circuitry. That's it. Let's give it to him. Let's try and help him out. I'm, I'm interested in this because did it say that he was a Raider punk when we approached him? Uh, what's so impressive about this? Circuitry is made of high-speed components and microchips. Ah, huh, interesting. We could break out the soldering iron and make use of those. Thanks. Yeah, Raider Punk. So the Brotherhood is already recruiting Raiders. Is that what he found, that food dehydrator? Is that what he was meant he was referring to? Did we know that they're already recruiting Raiders? I'm not sure if we knew that. And he mentioned Valdez, so Valdez has talked to him. Anything here? Well, I mean, they might be interested in floating pillows. <laughs> I would find that interesting. Oh, what is that? Brahmin? There's candles around here also. Might be Brahmin. Although, uh, although, are there two skulls? No, but, well, there's some human skulls. <laughs> Might be Yaogwai. Is that a Yaogwai? No, that looks like a Brahmin. All right, so we helped that guy out. See, this is the interesting stuff you find when you do not fast travel. This is why I do not like fast traveling. Would have never, never come across that guy. All right, that is the power station. There's the top of the world, so the Atlas... Yep, there's Atlas. There's Atlas right there. There's Fort Atlas, I believe. Don't feed the bears. Oh, it could have been a bear. Yeah, it could have been a Yaogwai back there. Yeah, we're going to pass powering up Mananga. And again, this is something that I pro I'll probably do on a stream. And I also do think that on um, streams and going through doing dailies and some of those miscellaneous, I think it does make sense to do some fast traveling then. Uh, so if you want to check one of those out, I think that that will be happening. I will, I will be doing fast travel um, during the streams. I think it just makes more sense, most likely. All right, anything up here? No. We've been along this roadway a couple of times now. Yeah, we checked that out a few episodes, quite a few episodes ago, a number of episodes ago. But that's where we need to get. If I'm not mistaken, there was nothing on the outside around here. There might have been on the backside. In the courtyard area, but I think we're good out. I think we're good out here. Yep. Oh, what was that? What was that? Oh, it's a honey beast. They have good loot. 
It's raining scorched. The honeybees have good loot. Haven't seen one in, in quite a while, though. That's assuming we can actually loot them. Let's get back over to this. Oh, and we have nice. Nope, 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 nope. Need to reload, need to reload. Oh, uh, gotta love that aim. Oh, it almost looked like that. This scorch was rehealing there. Down. All right, now I do not know if I hit that honey beast. I hope I did so I can loot it. Let's check it out. And we could drop some stuff, some stuff off in our, some stuff, some stuff off in our stash box. No, I did not. I did not hit it. Oh. I did not see him get down. All right, let's head back to that stash box. We can put away a couple of those. Uh, we have some legendary weapons we can stash. Uh, we can stash some ammo. Uh, is, there, is there a bench? What might a bench? We can stash some junk, which we will then have to transfer over to our scrap box later on. But let's take a look, see what we can do here. All right, weapons. Let's. Um, we do not have enough shells for that, so let's go ahead and store that. Um, let's store the combat rifle for now. Store that. I like the perfect storm. This will we. This will we will uh, scrap. Store, store. Let's store all the stuff we're not currently wearing, and I'll have to take a look at this later on. Oh, I cannot store anymore. Oh, that is not good. How about some of this ammo? So I need 38, 45, and 50. I need the 10 also. Yeah, I need the 10. No. Full. Oh, we can get a little bit. Can I take any more 38, 45, or, or 50? Or 10 mil? We do not have any of that. All right. That's a little something, but I cannot wait. I think I think it's supposed to be in January. There's supposed to be the update, uh, giving the stash boxes uh, more weight. Cannot wait. Yeah, man, because that's the big bummers. I like to hold on to some of those weapons. Now, some of those weapons, those legendary, I need, I do need to trade in, so that'll help. But I, I like collecting the weapons. It's just a car. Uh, like, I like collecting them, holding on to them, and what I'm really hoping for at some point, uh, what I would do in Fallout 4, is, you know, be able to put some of that stuff on display. So it gets it out of your stash box, and you can display what you, what you've, uh, what you found, man. What you've collected over your, t over the time. 
I want to be able to display that stuff. All right. Are we going to have to go through the town? Those are going to be mole miners. Mole miners tend to have some good drops. So this might not be a bad idea to do this. Especially if we can just, if we can possibly sneak a couple. Don't necessarily have to go through the entire town. As I say, I think there's one generally right here. And there's actually two. All right, dude, there, he's on to us. Where's he at? There he is. All right, I actually want to bring out this one instead. Uh, not a whole lot of goodness there. Let's see what this other guy gave us. I thought they gave good good loot. Am I wrong? Oh. Did we injure him? Because he put his gauntlet away. Yeah, five, five, six. I like that. Not a whole lot going on in the store. Yeah, let's let's stick on track of getting back to Fort Atlas. Although you know, you're standing right there. Oh. Alright, he's injured. Oh, no, no. And mole rats. Oh, out of ammo. Out of ammo. Not good. Not good. Where are these injured guys? There should be two more. There you go. Whoa. Someone's got a missile launcher. And he's not afraid to use it. <laughs> 